Raspberry Farm. Yes, we're here for the Boysenberry Festival. I am so going to get so fat today. I'm going <laughs> to love it. Oh my god, it's going to be great. I can't wait. I, I love pierogies already as it is, and then just this is just gonna like probably be over the top. They're really good. I like them. That is so awesome. Here you go, enjoy. Thank you. Look at that. Hi there. How many? One? I uh, just want. And check this out. Let me back up a sec. Um, and we cover it with white chocolate off of the fountain. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, wow. Oh my god, that looks good. <laughs> and it goes amazing with a red wine as well. Ah. Let it sit for a few seconds, so it'll harden and it'll be ready for you. Perfect. Thank you very much. Alright guys, we got the first thing here at the Boysenberry Festival, which is the Boysenberry pierogies. And this has uh, like grilled onions, bacon, and like a pierogi sour cream. So we're gonna go ahead and try this. Pierogies are nice and soft. The filling is really nice with potatoes and cheese. The boysenberry sour cream is really good. It's, I would think it'd be sweet, but it's really not. It's actually subtle. And the grilled onions and the bacon really make it. There's the second thing we're trying now, which is the boysenberry short rib. So let me get into that. That there. Nice fatty piece of meat. Let's try this. Oh my god. It's tender. Falls right off the bone. The sauce is really good. The, the sauce is sweet. Can't really taste the boysenberry in it, but it's really, really good. Oh, that was quick. Thank you very much. All right, you guys. This is one of the ones I've been like dying to try, which is the boysenberry chicken wings. So, hold on, I'm gonna put my hand under this because it looks like it's ready to drip. So, here I go. That's really good. Chicken's really tender. It's juicy. The, bar the boysenberry barbecue sauce is really good. You can actually taste like the boysenberry, a little bit of the vinegar. It gets you like right here. It's so good. So. This is another favorite of mine. I, I, I don't know, I can't tell which one I'm gonna like more. So I'm gonna keep trying all these and uh, probably at the end I'll tell you which one's my favorite. This is the boysenberry boba. That looks so good. Okay, just to tell you, this isn't part of the of the taste pass. So this one you have to buy separately. It's uh, $4.99, but you do get a uh, discount if you are a season pass holder here. So. Let's check this out. I think you have to mix it, right? That's actually good. It's not overly sweet. You can really taste the boysenberry and then the boba in there. That is good. I like this. It's not like 100%, but it's still good. Alright. You guys want to try the boba? Go for it. Oh, looks like Marseille's trying it. All right, guys. The next thing I'm trying now is the fro the frozen boysenberry cheesecake dipped in white chocolate boysenberry. 
this item here is actually an item that's not a part of the tabs. So this item here is actually $6.99. And then if you do have an uh, annual pass here at Knott's, you do get a discount on that. So let's dig into this thing. Yeah, how do you like eat this? really good. It is super rich. It's just the chocolate on top just really makes it. And then that cheesecake on the inside, like take a look at that. That's really good. I'm, I'm, I'm going to probably need a glass of milk for this one. Alright, the next thing we're trying now is the coconut macaroon, which I think was heavy. I'm sorry, boysenberry macaroon. It's okay. Not the best thing in the planet. It's really chewy. I, I usually macaroons are supposed to be kind of light a little bit. This one is just, I don't know, for some reason it's really chewy. Does it remind you of the, the Matterhorn macaroon? No, the Matterhorn macaroon is, is like fluffier. It's almost like it's like almost like a meringue inside the, the macaroon to give it that fluffiness consistency. No, the Matterhorn macaroon doesn't have it. That's nice. The metal or macaroon is the one that looks like the metal one. Yeah. It's like the metal one. Yeah, it doesn't have any cream inside. No, this doesn't have cream inside either. Yeah, that's what I'm asking you. Is it like that? Not at all. This has more of like a, a molasses taste, which makes it really chewy. The macaroon itself is one of the ones that come with a tab, but if it's something that you're into, go ahead and try it. Me, it's just it's too chewy for me. Like it's not the best. Show over cheesecake and boba. I can't This is my life. I don't like it. She says she doesn't want it. More for you. There you go. You like the cheesecake though? Ari? I like the boba and the cheesecake. But I'm kind, so I give Marseille all the boba. <laughs> Try the boys and very elote. It looks so good. <laughs> like, hold on here, hold on. Look at them make this. That's that's magic right there. And I'm in line for that. All right, so <laughs> this is another one I've been wanting to try. This is the boys and berry elote. So uh, I'll give you a brief description. It's of course, you know, corn grilled. It has, get this, get this, boysenberry butter. Oh, hold, hold on. Boysenberry mayo with Parmesan cheese around it. Let, wrap that around your head a couple times. You can, you can completely taste the boysenberry, and then the what really makes it is like the Parmesan cheese aftertaste on this. Oh my god! Like, yeah, I'm gonna have to go in and like find a way to buy more. Yeah, I think that was like really like yeah. So I'm gonna start enjoying this now, and I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. Oh my god! Look at that. Yes. Barney would be so proud. Thank you. <laughs> this one here is the boysenberry quesadilla. This is the boysenberry salsa from what I heard is spicy. And then the other uh, condiment that you get also with it is sour cream. So 
So, give you a small little description. Take a look at it real quick, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try this out. You can smell the salsa in this, like the spices. Get a nice little chunk there. Oh my god. This also does it. It's heat, it's sweet. You can, have, you can taste like the chunks of like a boysenberry that's in there. It's really, really good. Look at that. That is. I've never had boysenberry salsa but I, I, I'm gonna try to see if I can at least maybe replicate this for home, but it's really, really good. So you guys come out. I really suggest the quesadilla, because this is just, it's for this. It's really good. Look at the beautiful grilled sausage there. We're gonna be getting one of those. This is the, uh, the boysenberry sausage. I've been waiting for, to try this all day. We have three different types of uh, condiments here. We have boysenberry relish, ketchup, and mustard. From what I've heard, the mustard is the one to get. So, get some, get some mustard action on that thing. Mustard is excellent. It is really good. It's not uh, spicy. It's a little sweet. You get a little bit of like the boysenberry aftertaste on it. So far, right now, that is my favorite condiment. So now, grandma, try the ketchup. Ketchup one is good. It just tastes like a sweet ketchup. Um, I get a little bit of hint of the boysenberry, but other than that, it's just it's more of like a sweet ketchup if anyone's ever had sweet ketchup. So yeah. now I'm gonna try the relish. Look at that. Boysenberry relish. Relish is good. It's a little chunky. You can taste all the different flavors on there. It is a little sweet, but I have to say, like my favorite of the three is mustard. Uh, for some reason, the mustard always gets to me. But what I'm going to do now is try all of them at once. Uh, got some boysenberry, some ketchup. on there. Do a perfect little trifecta of the condiments on this sausage. Let's go ahead and try it. It's good with all three. The mustard stands out from all of them. And you get a little bit of the aftertaste from the relish. If you want to try all three, by all means, it's a good experience to eat with this. But if you're gonna try just one of these, my suggestion to you would be the mustard. This is my last will and testament. Because I don't know what's gonna happen after this. I may not come back from this uh, from this food review here. This here is a fried, deep fried cinnamon roll with boysenberry syrup on top and powdered sugar. I'm sorry, this one is called a fun bun. Yeah. So, let's dig into this. Look at that. 
<sighs> now before I eat this, I need to show you the cross section. Here we go. Oh my god. It is what it, it tells you. It's a fun bun. They took a cinnamon roll, took the funnel cake batter that's famous here at Knott's, dipped it in that batter, deep fried it, put some boysenberry, uh, like a boysenberry sauce on top, and powdered sugar. It tastes so good. This is like inception of a cinnamon roll. If you guys do come here, this is only until the 8th. I suggest you come get it. So, I think I found my Nirvana for desserts. So I'm gonna be at peace with this, so I'm gonna go and enjoy it. The lanyards are $30. You do get eight of them, but with the tabs themselves, you're only allowed to get the eight items that are on the lanyard. So you can't like derive from it, but you can get like multiples of the same thing. So let's just say, you know, you want like two or three of the short ribs, you can use three of the tabs. But you can't use it for like certain items like the cheesecake or the boba. It's just, it's not part of the eight that are shown on here. So if you know, if you come to try to see if you can get the other things, you really can't. It's just for these things here. So it's just a little bit of facts on this in case you guys had any questions on the lanyards. All right, those are alligator bites. That is a boysenberry aioli. And that is Ari. <laughs> and that's Nikki. Well, no, not that. That's Nikki. And, 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 and this is a new hat. And that's still Ari. So. It's because I love you guys. Yes, you can. Oh, yeah. Careful. Okay. Oh, the aioli's good. This is really good. Yeah. Try it. You said it was good. Yeah. You said it was good. I thought the crust nope. was. No. The crust tastes like a chicken tender. Try it. No, take, watch. Take like, a bite again. <laughs> <laughs> Try it again. Watch. Take a bite. Go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, what do you think about the alligator bites? What do you think? They were like tender. Yeah. I've never had alligator before. I've actually had crocodile when I lived in Australia. That was good. That was good. I like that one. I like how they're seasoned. They're seasoned nicely. Oh, the, the fries? The crocodile. Or alligator. The alligator. <laughs> so, Ari. You ate alligator. Oh, God. Are good. She's still holding on to the alligator. <laughs> See, you shouldn't say anything. You should let her finish the whole thing first. Yeah. And then at the end, be like, hey, get this. Take her over to like a pet store. Get a little. Ice. I know, right? Just eat it. It's I good. Oh my god, no. We had fun. And that's Spray Farm. Snoopy agrees. Yeah, See, Snoopy agrees that we had fun no. here. <laughs> <laughs> that, that'll be a story for another time. We'll have to tell that. There's some story. weird people here today. I don't understand. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> but apparently the alligator bites are here only for the festival. Oh, wow. Yeah, see? 
So, yeah, you guys have till next Friday yes. to come and get this stuff. The food here has hurry, been hurry. The food here has actually been really good. Yes. Like, yeah, like I am surprised. Like this is my first time here at the Boysenberry Festival. So I don't know how people like, you know, like kind of like think about it when, you know, all the other years, but it was actually good. I enjoyed right. it. But we wanted to make sure that we caught the festival before it ended, and I'm actually glad that we did. Yeah, because I mean we got some we got a pretty good deal. We got a pretty good deal. We got uh, a shirt. We got these. Yeah, we got those, which are her favorites. Oh, yeah. you guys bought those? Yes. Yeah. And then, and then we got uh, a Boysenberry Festival t-shirt and a limited edition pin, and it was $12.99, which yeah. that is actually... So we'll post the picture of the t-shirt and the pin right here. Yeah. <laughs> So that way you get to see it. It's actually neat, like, you know, and they have like various sizes. The pin looks really cool. You can't buy the pin separately. It has to come with the shirt, which is still a good deal. $12.99 for a pin yeah, and a shirt. for a pin and a shirt. Yeah. usually you spend, what, $30 like that at somewhere else. So I, to me, I think all the bargains here are really good. Um, I really, really would suggest getting that lanyard because it was $30 to try the eight different foods. And whenever you purchase them separately, this this one uh, guy spent $21 on two orders of the chicken wings. Oh, when yeah. you could have just bought the lanyard for $30 and had Use two, two tabs. Of the, yeah, two tabs for chicken wings. Yeah. It was just, it's a no brainer. You have to get the tabs. Yeah. So if, if you do have a chance, I hope they have this next year. I don't know if they they do. It's every year. This is every year. We we definitely have to come back. Yeah, the, definitely. That, this is great. Yeah, because I mean, you know, you figure the lanyard is thirty dollars. You get eight tabs. That's it comes out to like two dollars and change. If you go around to each of the booths, they're averaging nine dollars for the for the item. Yeah. And they're actually pretty decently sized. I mean, they're it's a good portion mm -hmm. what you get. So, and it's really good, especially that, that pork rib. Yes. Oh my God, that was, wow. So, but yeah, yeah, it's been fun today. Uh, it's just, it's, we're going to go home because it's spring break over here. It's kind of crowded. It's going to be, I guess, home, right? Yeah, that's it. All right, we will see you guys later. Hi, my name is Warden. Yeah, like day, good day, Zoya.